Spectating in churches tends to drive pastors crazy. You see people coming regularly to church. They tell you how much they enjoy the church, they enjoy the services, but they don't lift a finger to help. It feels sometimes like you've got a church that has teenagers in it. You know what it's like with teenagers? Sometimes they just kind of, oh, no, you've asked me to do something around the house to help with the chore. You've ruined my life again. This entitlement sort of position that they can take up. Well, people in our churches can take it up as well, but we want to ban this sort of spectating. Hi, I'm John Finkeldy from Grow a Healthy Church. Welcome to the Build a Leadership Pipeline. And today I'm going to give you one simple thing that you can do that will help you get rid of spectating. Now, trust me, I know we won't get rid of all the spectators, all the consumers in our church. They'll always be with us, but we'd sure like to have less in our church, wouldn't we? I want to give you one simple way, one simple strategy and method you can use that lowers the bar and the barrier to entry to serving so people can begin to step out of that do-nothing zone into serving the Lord, into sacrificially giving back, to move from being a, a spectator to someone who serves, to move from being just a consumer to someone who contributes to the life of the church. Well, what is this one thing? How can I get it happening in my church, John? Well, this one thing is offering a test drive, offering a first serve. Part of your annual recruitment campaign, an essential element of it to move people from doing nothing to doing something is say, hey, you may not want to sign up for a roster for the next six months or 12 months or for the rest of your life here on the planet, but why don't you take one of the roles in our church for a no obligation test drive. Now, some pastors and some church leaders say, John, just lowering the bar way too low for people. No, what I'm endeavoring to do for people, because some people are fearful. Some people have been hurt. Some people are quite broken. Some people just have no faith to believe that God can use them. And what I'm trying to do is rather than getting them to come to where I am, I try to go to where they are. And I think this is important in pastoring and shepherding people. It's not just put the bar up here. You must sacrifice and serve the Lord. To actually go, you know what? Well, let's go to where you are. So I want to give you the opportunity during this recruitment drive to actually try something. Take a position, a, pro, a role profile, take, take, a, take a, a job. <laughs> well, it's not a paid job. Take a volunteer role for a test drive. Have a go. In Australia, we say, have a go. Have a go. Just have a go. Just, just give it a crack. Give it your best shot. A test drive is like a first serve. The first serve, you get to have a go at it and try it out. So it might be someone says, I'm really interested in molding media. Great. We'll put you with our molding media person during a Sunday service will show you what they do before the service, during the service, and after the service, and just sit with them and check it out. You might want to sit with the sound person. You might want to sit with the person who registers the children into children's ministry. It might be a greeter role, a cafe role, maybe a small group leader. I never, don't know how to lead discussion. Right, we'll sit you with a small group leader, and they'll, they'll just give you a bit of a go for leading some of the discussion. Whatever it is, it's basically a, a kind of try before you buy sort of scenario. When you offer this to people, what you're doing is saying, hey, you might be uncertain, but we want to make it as easy as possible to get you into the serving journey. Because what you're trying to do in a recruitment campaign with people who are doing nothing is get them into the leadership pipeline at least at the very first step. And it may be a very hesitant, tentative step, but you've got them into the pipeline. Now, the key thing, this is absolutely important. There are a few things during these episodes of the Build a Leadership Pipeline series that I'm doing that I'm really emphasizing. This is one of the big ones, is that when someone does a test drive, a first serve, they try to make sure the serving director follows them up. You've got your serving director in place, haven't you? If you haven't seen that episode, check it out. Go and have a look at it. Go and listen to it. Go and check it out, the episode on having a serving director. But make sure your serving director has a list 
a well-organized list of everyone who's doing a first serve, a test drive, they're trying something out and is in touch with them saying, hey, we're set up for you, good to go. And then after, they go and have a chat with them, say, how did that go? What was it like for you? You might want to do it immediately on the Sunday or the day after, but you don't want to leave it two weeks. People will think you're not interested, you don't care. So the follow-up is essential. The follow-up is crucial. And then when you say to the person, they say, yeah, I loved it. Well, would you like to get a bit more training or kind of get onto a roster or whatever your next step is? And I go, okay, yeah, I'll give that a go. Great. They're into the next step. They're further into the leadership pipeline. They're on the journey, which is great. Someone says, you know what? I realize I don't have an ear for sound at all. That was overwhelming. I couldn't do that. Have you got something else I can try? Yeah, sure. Let's try you in the multimedia area. Or let's try you in the cafe or greeting. In other words, you don't give up after the first serve. You give them another go. Take, take it for another test drive. If they have to do four test drives to find their spot, their shape, their fit, brilliant. Doesn't matter. So there you go. Now, I'm going to give you a little tool to help with this, with your recruiting. If you've been into the other episodes, you've already heard about this tool, tool the Opportunity to Serve form. Download The link is in the notes. Get a hold of this form. This form is a cracker. It's a winner. It will really help you in your recruiting and building an effective and vibrant leadership pipeline. God bless you.